Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about what I'm going through currently. It's been kind of grim and very serious. Oh, maybe I should take my glasses off. I can't tell if you can... Oh, I have the viewfinder right here and I don't know if my glasses look okay. Can you see my eyes? I'm just gonna leave them on because if I take them off I'm blind. But um, anyway, <clears throat> My site that I, my new site that I have is starting to reject again. And I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that um, tomorrow I'll be headed to the ER and hopefully my doctor will have a plan on what to do next. And I wanted to share a little bit about how I'm dealing, coping, I don't know. Um, Yesterday we changed the site and the bio patch on top is completely saturated. It's very itchy again, um, which it wasn't last time I changed my dressing, which is you change it every seven days. Um, when you have a new site and you change your dressing, right where the bio patch is, it should look like a, like a scab. Like if you have like crust like a scab that's good that's okay you know until you know you have it for six months seven months then all that heals and stops but <clears throat> if it's a crust like a hard crust you're doing good but um if it's like moist or like leaking or starting to have drainage of any kind that's like bad either you're having you have an infection or your body is attacking it and you're rejecting it so um <clears throat> Since my first round I, on this side um, of, well, it's not my first round. I'm, I'm just saying like after my four year that I had forever, we switched to this side. We literally like a month, two months, it rejected. Went to the hospital, did all that stuff. All the videos are, follow all the videos from previous. But um, this is a new port and I've had it literally almost two months again. And now it's rejecting again. So... I haven't gotten to sit with my doctor yet and I haven't gotten to speak with him about a plan or what's on next on the to-do list or anything like that. Right now I just informed my doctor, hey, change my site, it's moist, it's it's completely saturated again, it's extremely itchy, you know, so I already can feel the signs of rejection on the bio area, on the site area. It, um, I don't have fever, I don't have anything like that. I am tired, I'm just, you know, but I can't tell if that's just more of my emotional um, feelings and stuff or if it's like a physical, because as you know, like being a ph -er, you're always physically hurting, you're always physically tired. So it's kind of like, I can't tell if, hey, maybe your body's really under distress because, you know, it's attacking this thing and you're not feeling up to par. Like, I can't tell all that stuff because I'm not a doctor and that's what the doctors are for and stuff. So, um, my doctor's amazing and he's freaking a superhero to me. And so I think I have total faith that <clears throat> he's gonna have a good game plan of what to do. And so I, I'm feeling very... Um, okay, so like emotionally, I want to break down. Like, my emotional humanistic side is like, fuck, like, I'm sad, It, I'm hurting, I'm upset, you know, because I want my sight to heal normal, be normal, and me live the way I was living previously, and I just want to have a normal life with my sight, you know? the way I had been prior to the incident that I had before. And I'm just realizing that that's not what's going to happen. You know, I thought after I had gotten through the first rejection, I was like, okay, you know, shit like this happens. You're going to get through it. It's going to be fine. They put in the original style port on the, the new site again for the third time. And I was like, it's going to do great with it. And I was just hopeful and um, excited and now that it's rejecting I just, uh, 
I feel sad, angry, upset, you know, but <clears throat> those are all humanistic feelings. Those are all things that person feels and I just am my mind puts them aside and my mind says okay don't give in to those emotional feelings I either have the choice to allow my humanistic self and emotions to take over or I can make the decision to let my higher self and mind allow myself to behave a specific kind of way. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. Like, it's kind of like, <clears throat> I'm gonna say it, and I'm so sorry if it's like so rude and aggressive, but it's like, you can either be a bitch baby and do that route and like cry and get emotional and like go down that whole path and, and fall down that rabbit hole and, you know, just totally live in all that shit or I have the decision I can make the decision, should I say, um, to put on that warrior armor, that mental warrior armor that I have and face the problem that I have um, logically and put all that bullshit aside for, for now because I don't have time to deal with that stuff. Like, I don't have time to deal with the bitch baby stuff. I gotta deal with what's in front of me and attack that um, step by step, you know? And that's by following whatever my doctor says to do and allowing people that are smarter than me that are educated in this situation dictate my future, which is difficult because it's a complete loss of control. And what's worse is that it's your own body that you've lost control over. And so, I don't wanna like keep rambling. I know I'm trying to make this a very short video because I'm gonna take my camera with me and try to like vlog a little bit more, but I kinda wanted to share this with you guys before I set out to the ER and do all the whole, I'm in the ER vlog, blah, blah, blah. It's like, um, these are the real moments when you decide like who you are as a person and how you rise up to what life hands out to you. You know, and the thing is, life, I, I wrote this in my Instagram blog. I don't know if y'all have like follow me on Instagram or whatever, um, but I wrote pretty much like life keeps coming at you, you know, because just when I felt comfortable, like, oh, thank God, like got my new site, everything's good, healing, you know, was doing back to normal stuff, <clears throat> felt good, all my veins have healed from all those, you know, um, IVs and my stomach bacteria is back to normal, I'm kind of eating normally again, I don't have to worry about, um, you know, stomach pains, it's like boom, I'm like right back in it. And so, ah, uh, I'm just like, ah, uh, I can't, I guess that's, the only way to express what I'm feeling and um, you know I just gotta say like it's okay that's okay that you feel that way okay Erica it's okay that you feel that way now put that bitch baby stuff aside let's go into like you know serious high focused pure focused mode I guess I don't know how to say that um but yeah that's kind of what's going on right now and so I just want you guys to see that pH journey is hard if you guys haven't gotten IVs or IV therapy and stuff like that and y'all are terrified of the journey and you know hey in five years I might need IV therapy and I'm just terrified and let my journey be an example that <clears throat> This is the road. Roads have like stumbles and difficulties, but let's just see what happens. Thank you for watching my video. Remember, I'm your PH friend from Texas, and I will see you guys in the next video.